All right, and we are live with part, I believe, part six of our live stream series on the Evil Within. Uh, we are going to be playing through the DLC. Uh, we did some of the first part of it, um, the assignments, last time. So last time we beat the main campaign, the main story, whatever, the, the main game. <laughs> we, we finished that, and then we started on this. I have played the Evil Within 1 and 2 multiple times, so I'm very familiar with the games. Um, but this is my first time playing the, the DLC for the Evil Within, so this is as much a surprise for me as it is as it might be for you. It's, uh, oops, audio. There we go. Uh, but it looks like there's not like much in the way of combat in here so far. It's it's predominantly hiding from enemies. There's been like some base enemies and like some weird um, like stalker type enemy also. Oh. Item acquired. You've unlocked a new music track. You can listen to it on the soundtrack player from the assignment title menu. That's... How do I turn the film grain off in here? I, I, I do not like film grain games. I think it's uh, not great. Is it in general? Because I know there's an option for it. Just don't. There. Green grain. Yeah, let's turn that all the way down. I don't want to deal with it. There we go. That is an infinitely better image to look at. Like, I know the game's kind of going for, like, this whole, um, like, grindhouse appeal, but it just doesn't do it for me when I'm playing the game. Like, I need visual clarity. I don't, I'm not, like, aesthetics are nice, yes, but don't let it be a detriment to what uh, players are trying to accomplish. Oh, there's a keeper, or no. The keepers aren't in here, it's just the safe. Um, I don't know what the fucking combo is. There's too many variables to try to do it, so... We could possibly try to cheese it, but there is... Yeah, it, it would take way too long. Like, usually, if there's a limited amount of variables, you can just, like, go process of elimination, like, moving on, moving on. And that's fine, but... Uh, too many... too many dials to spin, too many increments on them. So, nothing here. An enemy down here... Thought there was. Hey, buddy. Do I just open this? Oh, yep. Maybe don't kick open the door, but yeah. Oh, shit. That was not cool. Please don't tell me that broke stealth. No, it did not. No. What's this? Key card allows access to yet another part of the facility. Cool. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't see me. Do not see me. You did not see me. Probably because I was so insistent on the fact that it did indeed not see me. Need to go over there. I, no, I can't close it. If I were to call this cell phone and lock someone in here. Lock both of them in there, maybe. Where's that cell phone? 
I think it's over here. Shit. I should have paid more attention to where that cell phone is. I think it's on that desk right there, though. I'm really surprised they didn't hear me when I decapitated that dude. We're gonna smash his head in. Okay, that's the phone right there. Alright, both of you guys go over there. Okay, this one's not going for it. Got one locked away. We just need to sneak past this guy. Do I have any? I have bottles. Let's swipe that. There we go. Frickin' solid snake up in here. Apparently I can get... Well, I guess I have to go through there. That's frickin' blocked off. As a hole to nowhere, assumably. Can I shine that? Oh, there's there's a grate. I just can't jump down there. Don't you ever forget? You're one of us now. I'm supposed to like be able to find hidden doors with this, right? We here. Um, and the light on here. Some kind of puzzle thing I'm seeing. Right this casting a reflection. Also one right there. Thing to do. I turn this? <laughs> no, but I can climb on. The mark. It's incomplete. Yeah, I figured that part out. I just need um Oh, I'm stupid. There's a thing right here. There we go. See, I knew what I had to do. I just wasn't being mindful of my surroundings. I was channeling my inner uh a data remember. Just respecting everything around me in the nearby vicinity. The air feels so heavy in here. Interesting. How? Oh, I forgot. It's gonna read it out. They brought me into their fold. This, this place is uh, Doctor Jimenez. To say the least, despite the modernistic visage. The research they have been doing here seems to date back to over a century ago. This place has history, and from what I can grasp, this facility is only one branch of many. Institutions, powerful families, their reach seems grand, and therefore the possibilities for me seem equally as rich. Clearly my own unique methods at Beacon have piqued their interest, and I am most grateful for the opportunity. Most of what the researchers have been working on, however, seems archaic by today's standards. They told me budget is of no concern. Results are the only thing that matter. Juggling duties here and at the hospital seems manageable, but Reuben, comparatively insignificant, but even at his young age, his studies are remarkable. 
Perhaps one day he will even assist me with my work here. All right, so yeah, Doc uh, reconfirmed as a piece of shit. This is not a negotiation, Doctor Jimenez. We are expected to. Why is this dude looking like the, the fucking slender man? Facility. I understand that, and I appreciate the time you've given me. Time has a limit, and we're approaching that point. If you've outspent your usefulness, we will need to find someone more suitable. Let's not be so hasty. I've done tests with our visual diagnosis, and there is something I must speak to you about. Please, come with me. The projector is in the next room. So Jimenez was in cahoots with Mobius and um, getting funding, trying to prove it to them. But at the same time, uh, kind of going a little bit rogue, doing shit on his own, and that's what led to Evil Within 1 happening. You got a little bit too cocky with his uh, brain shit with Ruvik. Oh, hey Ruvik, uh, now you're gone. Please don't kill me. I already had to deal with you in the main game. I don't want to fight you again. Especially with all the bullshit you made me go through with all the insta-kills and everything. I'm good. Don't make me do that, my guy. I already beat you. Let, let me revel in that. It's my hypothesis that we haven't succeeded because so far we've only been using visuals, audio stimuli, passive influence, even on my patients with limited mental capacity. This method is rejected by the user. If we are to accomplish what we intend, we will need to refocus. We need direct access. And what do you propose? It's, how shall I say, a pet project of sorts. A mechochemical process. With it, we should be able to have a direct influence on the individual. Potentially even access their subconscious. I have the data in the next room. Let me show you. That video. I remember they showed me that when I was brought here. It's kind of crazy to think how even in the main campaign, uh... Jimenez gets killed off relatively quickly, even though he is kind of central to so much of what went wrong. Like, yeah, Ru Ruben, Ruvik, whatever, was already a psychotic ass, already doing inhumane shit, but uh, Jimenez was very deeply involved in all that. Oh. That's the STEM machine, that's what everyone gets plugged into, the little matrix machine or whatever. More diagrams. Nope, can't go down there. Plastic is the strongest material on the planet. I can't possibly just push these sheets to the side. It's inhumane to ask someone to be able to do so. This research here, this is exactly what we've been looking for. I call it STEM. I'm sure you and your superiors will find this most satisfactory. You mentioned the design was from a pupil of yours. In that case, where do you fit in? He is an unstable individual. Perhaps it is better that I continue to be the one to contact in this situation. Because he's I'd just like straight up that. stole his fucking research. We should all be able to have a productive conversation. What did you say his name was? Ruben. Ruben Victoriano. This gonna open? Oh no. Something. Shit. 
That thing is coming. Turn on my light, gonna fuck me? Am I gonna die because I have this on? Okay, it's definitely in the room. You gone? Go. Eat. Eat us. There we go. Wait, plastic? Defeated by plastic? Door? Nope. It's covered by plastic. Can't access it. <laughs> oh, that sucks so bad. I assume that's um, Ruben's sister, Laura, except she's not like in creepy spider demon form this time. Just in her regular red dress. Oh, that sucked. And I'm so much worse about panicking in games when I'm with a mouse because I can just jerk around like that versus a controller. I'm much more composed. There's something wrong with this place. That's where Leslie was before. And now those two, where are they headed? Okay, so we can't get through here, right? Agent status terminated. Please God, my freaking tattoo is itchy as hell. I'm trying my best not to, not to scratch at it. Got to, got to pat it so the itching goes away a little bit. But it's definitely still hard. It's in that peeling stage. Oh come on, Kidman! Mean, you can sprint for more than two seconds. Jump, jump. Oh, kitty cat. That means we can save. It takes a long time for it to go down so you can actually save. That's maybe not great. Full cool aesthetic, though. I do appreciate cats. I appreciate black cats. I appreciate cats with ribbons on them. Oh, whoops. Just... No? I believe the cat's also in Evil Within 2. I'm not sure if it's there like every time you're saving. I think it might even bring you stuff like green gel. Trying to remember. I haven't played Evil Within 2 in a quick minute. It's probably been two or three years. Sebastian is not expendable, he's just very easily Find tricked and, and killed by explosives if I'm controlling him. Hacker man. Please guide subject to construct facial, hand, and neural profile. So we have to gonna help me out with this. We have to give ourselves uh, biometric access. Then we can go back to where we were. Oh. That is a dead body. It just decided to come chill in the vents for whatever reason. That is hopefully a dead body, not a body that's going to get up and then I have to smush his face. Okay, but if an enemy comes, I can probably just hide in there for a quick second. Something's moving over there. I don't really want to know what. <laughs> I'm probably going to have to find out though.
That is a good looking picture. Fucking Kidman's on point. Let me guess, we gotta do some stuff over here. Oh! At least, uh, we can smush their heads pretty easy. There is that. Oh, there's nothing over here. I wonder why it even put it there. I don't like those sounds. Oh, shit. Okay, no, it's not going to come out. It was definitely in there. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's fucking freaking me out. Gotta do another thing right here. Oh shit. What the fuck? Oh no. No! Fuck the procedure, got a dip, dude. Oh, what the fuck? It just left me alone? Okay, I'm going this way. I can't believe they just left me alone. They had the perfect opportunity. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, I can't go that way. Oh. Maybe it is blind. Okay, so I am supposed to go this way. So let's not make noise then. Let's be very sneaky. Wearing fucking high heels is probably not a good idea if you're trying to sneak. You're gonna be clicking it and clacking it all over the place. Oh no. Okay. Gotta be quiet. Um, let's check over here first. Anything we need? I don't think so. I was not expecting this DLC to uh, to lean more on the survival horror. There's not really much action going on, which I'm down for. Uh, luring enemies. While in cover, call out to enemies to lure them to your direction. I don't want to do that right now. Oh, but you know what? It is guarding that. But I guess I have to. Oh! Shit, that one's moving. What if I can just go up here? Oh, I'm supposed to light all these up? Okay. Okay, let's get all of these off first. There we go. Letter scrap three. Doesn't. Can't even tell what it says. Okay. Got a bottle. Probably use a bottle instead of luring. Okay, let's do. Eat. 
Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Uh, I thought the point of the yeeting the bottle is that it would go towards where the bottle is, not just fucking zoom in on me. So that sucks. Apparently, they'll just kill you in one hit. They explode or something? Hello. Goodbye. Leave me alone, please. Come here. Oh shit. Dodge. Come on, move. Because apparently bottles don't work, so. Gotta use the lure. Even though they should fundamentally do the exact same thing. Are you gonna come up behind me? Uh. Oh shit, no. You don't see me. Chill. Oh fuck, it's gonna keep moving. I need to get it at the right moment. No, oh, my dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so yellow means just moving. Okay, this is gonna suck. This is gonna suck real bad. Oh shit. Oh shit. Hide over here. keep giving me bottles, but I don't trust this thing. Where am I even supposed to go? That's a ladder. I'm guessing over there. Okay, I can't throw the bottle over here. Is there another place that I can? Shit. Nope, not over here. Oh, that was too close. Alright, I gotta lure it. Alright. No. Don't kill me. No, don't fucking touch me. Okay, am I not supposed to go up there? There we go. Alright, get up there. Just glad I'm not dealing with that frickin' uh, stalker type enemy. Alright, so we did the hand scan, we did a photo ID, brain scan. Neural profile constructed. Profile matches terminated agent Julie Kidman. Termination reason, 
insubordination. For a bond reinstated, but data sent to Central Mobius for analysis. Insubordination? That doesn't make any sense. Kidman, Julie, you've assembled quite the resume, I see. They taught you to read at the police academy? I'm impressed. Your attitude won't be necessary today. What is this place? Why am I here? You've been arrested, Miss Kidman. And you're currently being detained. I'm sure even you could decipher that. That's not what I asked. This isn't a regular interrogation room. They don't give you cushy chairs when you're about to be sent to lockup. No current address. On your own since 14, a runaway it seems. Quite impressive you made it this- So basically she's a runaway, very smart, uh, very independent, and it looks like Mobius came and took advantage of that and offered her a position. Let's see, let's get this going. Please don't let anything be up here. Yep, we're good. Alright, and we're done here. Sweet. I'm still a little... I don't know what's going on with that whole thing right there, though. Ooh. See, I knew it. I knew this thing was here for a god... Damn reason. Come on, go, 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 go. Oh shit. That's new. This is some very well designed stealth segments, I must say. Granted, I can tell they're gonna reuse that later on because they don't design stuff like that just for it not to be used. Hi, kitty cat. Let's save again. Man, I love it when cats just do that out of, no, out of nowhere. Cats don't really show their love too much. When they do, it's like, goddamn. One of my cats does that. The other cat's a little bit of a butthole. There's something here, right? There's a big open environment, gotta be something creepy lurking around. That's just how these things work, right? Oh, Sebastian and Joseph? They're not supposed to be here? Something got... Somebody got horribly murdered. Was it you? Guessing yes. Hello, horribly murdered people. You lost an arm. That sucks for you. God. But it's okay. This person's about to lose a head. I don't know if there's any real way to mitigate that damage or like to just avoid it entirely. You just kind of have to deal with it, I guess. See, I don't have like health items or anything. I guess it just auto regenerates over time? I do not know. Because in the base game, you don't really have regenerating health unless it's that, um, that lower threshold. But we're nearly topped out. We're like at, what, 90 per- Oh, yeah, it does regenerate. Fuck me, there's my answer. An error has occurred. Please wait while power is Oh, shit. Oh. 
I am hiding right there. Let's not hide directly in front of it. Oh, this this is such horseshit. You cannot spawn it right in front of me. I don't like that. I power restoration at twenty percent. Okay. Well at least it didn't like rush towards me and kill me like immediately. Shit. Nope. Oh, I am so dead. Okay. I will call some amount of bullshit on it spawning in front of me. I will absolutely call some bullshit on that. Okay. Let's go as far away as possible. Enter cover. I'm just gonna chill here. An error has occurred. Please wait while power is being restored. Alright. Shouldn't be able to tell where I am, so. Let's do this. Let's move to the other side. Yeah, I'm calling such god awful shit on that. Shit. Stick to corners. Shit, it's right there. As long as it doesn't start like sprinting all over the place we should be good all right where are you going power restoration there you go okay let's go to the other side shit Oh, what the fuck? It's shocking me? God, oh shit, god damn it. Please tell me I lost it. Please tell me I fucking lost it. There you go, go. Do not. Go. Go. Eat. Okay. Could have sworn it could have gotten me a couple times. Obviously glad that it did it, but. This is actually a really good piece of, like, survival horror DLC. I can see how if you're generally bad at stealth, this would be like the worst possible piece of content to play though. It's definitely more in the vein of something like um, like Amnesia or like maybe Outlast or something like that. It's not like classic Resident Evil survival horror, it's not action survival horror, this is like... You need, you need to be stealthy, you need to hide, you need to be able to run. So I ain't got no bullets. I got a flashlight and I got a glass bottle. That's it. That's all I have to my name. Hold on. I'm coming. There's our two partners who don't know I'm here. So I, I think this is still like some kind of like weird freaking test by Mobius. This isn't like Rubik's thing going on. But it doesn't make sense because she's seeing Ruvik. So I don't know. Okay. Make it convincing. Detective! I'm here! I'm safe! <laughs> no luck there, Kidman. Sebastian! Joseph! Mobius. 
So they sent you to take the boy back. And you trust them. Don't kid yourself. Don't kid yourself, man. You're just kid. as expendable as your partners are. As I was. After all I did for them. <laughs> we'll see how loyal you are when you know the truth. Okay, so... Are you alright? Okay, I guess that she was in this thing the entire time. This is very confusing. <laughs> Do you wish to remain in the dark about information that will undoubtedly disturb you? Chapter one, clear. That was a very long chapter one that was an hour long uh especially for what this is supposed to be like what just a like an hour or like three hour dlc or something so it seems pretty meaty at the very least i don't imagine it's gonna be like fucking 20 chapters it's probably just gonna be like two or three but sizable content joseph joseph where did he go? So this should be following pretty well, closely to the main game. He'll then? just have to fend for himself. Got to keep on track. Find Leslie. Because when you're playing as Sebastian and you find a uh, Kidman and Joseph down here, they're like both together, like fighting zombies off with guns. But I guess that's not the case here. It's very dark in here. His name was Ruben Victoriano, but now he exists as Rubik inside the encephalon of Sten. Ruben was brilliant, designing the entirety of the system by himself. But we conflicted over our intentions. And what happened to him? Ruben has been dealt with. The consequences of trusting the wrong people. Ruben. Okay. He knows I'm here. He is very aware of the fact that you're here. We've been, we've been having to deal with so much shit trying to kill us. That's an invisible enemy, right? That's not like rain. Oh shit. Oh, that's Leslie. Is that Leslie? Please don't tell me it's an invisible enemy. I don't want to. That is an invisible enemy. That is not Leslie. I kind of liked uh, fighting the invisible enemies in the main campaign. It's kind of a shame they were weren't present the whole time. But there is an axe. Can kill this fucking. Thing. Sneak kills. Okay, so it's not the same as in the main game where weapon or melee weapons are just like a one hit kill and it breaks. This is like specifically for sneaking, it looks like. Oh. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> that is pretty satisfying to do from stealth, I will say. Please please tell me we still have the axe, though. That looks like this. Oh, no. What is that squishy sound? Oh, there's a collectible, though. Item acquired. See what's in here, I guess. Their axe. Okay, so they are expendable, like one hit, that's it. But we can only use these for stealth. Okay, where are you?
All right, we gotta go around the corner. I hear you freaking. Oh. Just don't look this way. Okay. Now let's go get him. Oh god damn it! Nope. Shit. Sprint, dude. Kid me, no. Shit, I am so fucked. I cannot sprint. Yeet. I <laughs> This is horrible. Nope. Okay. We somehow managed to unscrew ourselves out of that. I don't know how. <laughs> Fucking bottle toss of the century right there. Fucking yeeting it to the side of the door. That was horrible. I guess I didn't even have to go in here then, right? Or no, it would have it just been chilling over here. That was the only place that had the uh, weapon anyway. Alright, Kevin, you gotta pull yourself together. Regenerate your health. There we go. I don't you can actually get it all the way up. Doesn't need Viagra or anything, just naturally gets it up. Is there another one out there? Or is that just my own fucking footsteps? Something else is even more harrowing. Our subjects are dying. They come out from stem abruptly passing with looks of horror in their eyes. The ones that do survive are catatonic, babbling, incoherent messes that... Just more beacon stuff. Get this open. I do not enjoy having them. Repeatedly tap buttons in order to open doors. I think it's the very mundane. Not a fan overall. But it. Oh, there's a ladder. It is very dark in here. You know what? Let's actually just raise that ever so slightly. Brightness. At least for playing on here purposes. Okay, yeah, no, this is area is just dark as shit. Which, hey, I can appreciate. Oh! Oh, no. Okay, well, it looks like it's not chasing me down here, so that's good. <laughs> Even though I had every damn reason to do so. It's such a horrible idea, but there's nowhere else to go, so... We got to... Where did it even come from? There's no... I guess it could have climbed over. We can't climb over. That would defy the laws of video game logic. Oh, it's just leaving me alone? Oh, that's not good. What the fuck? Uh. 
Hey, we get a gun. Guns solve everything in this universe. Come on, dude. Shoot it. They have three bullets. Let's not fuck it up. Oh, shit. Oh, never mind. We have more bullets. I thought it was like, that's all we had. Hell yeah, unlimited ammo. Here, let's just shoot this motherfucker. There we go. There you go. <laughs> so yeah, just keep shooting you. Oh no. Oh no, shit. Okay, maybe we do need to keep the light on that thing so we can actually see what the fuck's going on. Shit. Okay, now it's coming. I got a gun now. Shit. Finally ran out of ammo, for whatever reason. If Leslie's down here, I doubt he'll last long. I've got to find him. Alright, um... We're out of bullets, and it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any more, so... Um, that's that for the gun. I mean, we, we have the gun. If we happen to find bullets, we can use it. But I think that's going to be more of a story context versus, you know, standard survival horror. Let's find an item and use it. That was very cathartic, though. Hey, kitty cat. What do you gotta eat there, kitty cat? Bread? Some kind of fucking sandwich? Did you puke that up? What? That brains? Kind of curry? I don't know what you're eating. I wouldn't feed my cats that. <laughs> I feed my cats dry food. That's that's what the veterinarian recommends. Doesn't help that one of my cats is a fucking slob whenever he eat does eat uh, wet food. Gets it all stuck up in his mane. He's a he's a big old drunken slob, basically. Wait, so let's open this. Goodbye, kitty cat. Gotta go try not to die. Yeah, she shouldn't be able to, like, have, I, like, these cognitions of what's going on later, unless it's, like, a phobia that she later, like, puts into the experience that everyone else, like, later perceives, but, I don't know, it, it's, this confounds me. I consider me befuddled. Um, insert part. Okay, that is the only part I have right now. Oh no, I can put it elsewhere. That doesn't do anything. 
That opens that. Let's just uh, do the one on the left first. something right here. Fucking Luigi's Mansion. That shit. You know, you can toss, like, the little x-ray flashlight or whatever. Except we're not fighting ghosts. We're fighting... pretend ghosts. Oh, there's a combination. Okay, so... That's what we need to be imprinted on it. Uh, let's take a quick look at that again. So we need two, three, one. That's gonna be hard. Oh no, it's not. Because all we need is. There we go. Letter scrap six, which I have already missed some, so ultimately meaningless to me, I suppose. Hello, baby doll toy. I have smashed you. a saw-ass looking device. What is that? Freaking... Oh! You are eating a body. You are also eating a body. Maybe don't do that. Oh. I have fought you people before. I don't have my shotgun, so I do not want to fight you right now. I think you can make the argument for survival horror still being scary if you're like fully equipped with like weapons and whatnot, but I would definitely uh, subscribe more to the thought of once you're in your defenseless, uh, the horror is uh, infinitely stronger. Because you're pretty damn capable in the base game, even if you are like relatively fragile, you can still put out a lot of, uh, you're still very capable offensively. Okay, that's a weird detour. That, I'm probably gonna have to run through, run back through here, like avoid something that goes around that corner, I'm guessing. But I don't have to worry about that right now, I guess. Yeah, let me see if I'm right. Something's gonna pop out, right? Oh, uh, I'm just gonna prepare myself to fucking shit myself. Don't pop out. It's gonna... Yep. Oh, no. Bad idea. No! Oh, wait! <laughs> that actually worked. Holy shit. Shit. Oh, it is coming through. It is coming through. Go. 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 I can take a hit. Okay, no, I can't take a hit. That is a one-hit kill, apparently. Uh, I did not know that. Let's try that again, I suppose. 
All right, we got to... Okay, we have plenty of places we can hide. I maybe we're probably gonna have to like have to cut back and juke it out. But like this one, we know we can at least open. Like it worked last time. <laughs> um, okay, that did not work. I don't know why, because it most certainly did last time. I don't know what's going on. Maybe we just got more PO'd this time. I'm gonna try it again. Because it worked. Okay, I guess I just got insanely lucky that first time. I I don't know. I do not know what to say. Alright. Let's just dash straight backwards. All right, where'd it go? Over there, right? Yeah, it's over there. You don't see me, right? Okay, so I need, a, need it to chase me. I didn't get enough time to actually open this damn thing. Okay. Oh, it is actually going all the way over here. Come here. Over here. Hey! I'm trying to call to you, my dude. And you are not heeding my calls. Come here. Come here. Come here. Hey! Okay, go. Is that far enough, though? Nope. Alright, let's be a little bit more direct with this. Hey! Hey, dipshit. Shit, go, 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 go! Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Go. Nope. Okay, go. Open, 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 open. Come on, dude. Okay, sprint towards it. Go, go, go. Don't have time. Nope, don't do that. Okay, come on. We got it. You gotta like super fake this guy out. Go. Okay, go, 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 go. Shit. This is actually pretty tense. I'm not gonna freaking lie. Okay. It's gone. Got to do this before he comes back. Oh, those shadows from those other guys are really fucking on me, though. There we go. Go! Okay. I think we're good. Damn, this DLC is actually a lot better than I thought. It's getting pretty, pretty intense.
right, so we need a part for one of these dudes. Is this to a different spot right here? Damn it. There we go. Um, oh no, we do have to go through here. There's a hidey thingy right here, which means we're probably gonna have to use it. Oh. Those are holes. That is, those are spikes. Blocks. Smashing crates doesn't mean anything in here because they're not picking up resources. Come on, get up, Julie. Julie, go, go, go. I don't... Do I hear anything? Think so? Please don't let me die the second I open this freaking door. There is an enemy somewhere. Oh shit. Ruvik. Okay, I guess I have to go through there. Oh shit. Come through here, buddy. Come on. Ooh. Did it see me go in? Yeah, it did. Oh, damn it. That did not go well. Okay. That... Shit. I am going the wrong direction. Go. Dooley. I need you to sprint, my dude. Nope. Nope. <laughs> this is awful. This is embarrassingly slow. Oh shit. This is not good. Please go away. Love okay, there we go. We good. Nope, don't look. Okay. I don't have any axes. Okay, gotta get that. Shit, don't look at me. Not fucking look at me. Come on, let's just pull. <laughs> oh no. Okay, let's go. Shit. <laughs> okay. That was very reckless. Oh, what the fuck? Oh no. To its credit, it's not as bullshitty as the base game. And at least it's giving me good checkpoints, so... 
I will give credit on that at least. Um. Oh, that thing's in here now, though, isn't it? You're gonna lose interest? Oh, they all came out? Well, at least they're all just dipping, so that's good. Thank God. Any sign of Sebastian? Nothing. Maybe we can go back and look for him. No. I mean, let's just get out of here first, then we can worry about Sebastian. Can we open this gate? I doubt you and I are strong enough. <laughs> Joseph, okay, so this is where Sebastian and, uh, encounters both of them. If I remember correctly, there's a hole right around here. Kitty cat. Ooh. This is getting intense. Slots. Alright, kitty cat, we gotta dip. Wait a second. Never mind. Bye, kitty cat. Damn, we just hella dipped on Joseph. That's pretty rude. That is pretty damn rude, all things considered. this simple again? Oh, we can fight some. Oh, it's the star. I, am I an idiot? I have seen this symbol a million times. I should be able to do this. I am missing something so incredibly obvious, right? There we go. That's what it's supposed to look like. Not what I'm getting. Oh, there we go. That barely kind of lined up. That was a little bit of a stretch. Focus the efforts of the other I'll be right back. to support our research. STEM priority has seemingly overridden other departments' individual research. Chemical and botanical studies are focused now on temporary, priming subjects for their inevitable connection. Now that the prototype is up and running, experiments continue. Upon their return from STEM integration, patients are interviewed extensively. 
while their particular pathologies inform their experiences, there are commonalities. They all experience the same settings, the same occurrences. The world they inhabit becomes larger with every new visitor. This suggests that shards of each user's consciousness are left behind inside the stem, creating a community. It's as if internally a new world is being built. There we go. <laughs> Gotta love audio logs for that kind of thing. Alright. Go back to that other room that we did not go to. It, you cannot run for shit. Jesus Christ. You're not even an alcoholic like frickin' uh, like Sebastian. You're losing focus, kid. I warned you about that. How could this place exist? I don't understand. What's happening in here? Ruvik knows you're here. He's feeding off you. But there are more important problems. That detective. Joseph isn't something to worry about. He doesn't suspect anything. He's expendable. How else do you want me to... I just remembered. The, the murder at the hospital, whatever, at the end of the game, that was Leslie doing that, I imagine. I don't know why it took me so long to make that connection. It actually happened after, not before. Okay, that's it. I just little dumb brain revelation. Okay. Remove him. That's an order. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Killing Joseph? That's not gonna help me find Leslie. Oh, he can't be trusted. He'll turn on you. They all will once they know what you're after. We told you. You're weak, kid. And you're disappointing us. Damn. <laughs> Giving us the fucking, right? um... All right. Sebastian, fucking Dumbledore treatment over here. lift this enough for Kidman to go under and open it from the other side. We're counting on you. <sighs> It's odd, though. Why would they catch you instead of just killing you? Maybe he didn't see me as a threat. He. Oh, let it slip, Kidman. I know who you are. I'm not going to let you take him. You should have followed your orders, kid. Oh, what the hell? That's convenient, but morbid. I'm going to find you and rip you apart. <laughs> Alright, so what, we gotta fuck Joseph up? Over here! That's you, Kidman? Yep. <laughs> Let's do this stabby stabby. <laughs> it's pretty PO'd. I'll give him that. Please don't tell me the strategy's actually gonna work, just circling the same fucking little Oh There you did. I'm right here. Oh my god, Joseph is so fucking stupid. My dude, I am barely I am using the exact same piece of cover. I am not doing complicated maneuvers around here, my guy. Oh, I don't have an axe. Shit. Oh, 
Okay, I guess I need to find another axe. I thought I just had another. Show yourself. Come and kill me if you can. Found you. Shit. You couldn't have gone far. Oh shit, shit, shit. Go, 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 go. Oh, there's an axe. There we go. Oh. Oh. Shit. Okay. Found you. The power of plastic protects me from bullets. You have gone far. <laughs> the power of plastic compels you, my dude. Oh shit. <laughs> Sorry. You couldn't have gone far. I need another axe. Found you. Oh no, you did. I disagree. You couldn't have gone far. Oh, you dumb motherfucker. There we go. Bye bye, Joseph. Why are you making me do this? Damn it, Joseph. You should have just stayed out of the way. Are there sins you are ashamed of? Okay, it's in a completely different place. I think we're in the village area right now then, right? Wait a second. This house... No, it can't be. It would appear so. We are in the... Um... The village, I guess. Okay, let's see. Oh, lightning. That's not good. Let's explore this first, I guess. Miss Kidman, please tell me about your family. Next subject. No. We've prolonged this talk for a while now. It's important for our understanding of you. Neglectful parents. They never gave a shit. Too caught up in that church of theirs. More like a cult. It was like a punishment. Nothing I ever did was good enough. Yep, neglectful parents. And very obsessed with a church of some sort. It would make sense that, like, in this amalgamation, um, everyone's kind of memories are kind of, like, all coalescing together. So I guess, like, this part is from Kidman's past. Question is, what direction are we going? Leslie, Leslie, stop! Uh, nope, cannot enter that. That is at night. I would stare indubitably up blocked up. Lit up in the center of town. It looked like it was crying for all the wasted life in that place. The statue's gone, so. I don't know what's up with that. There we go. Is there another thing I can will into existence right here?
Okay, I don't know what's going on with that. It is very dark. Hello, box. Oh, is there something I can actually grab here? Oh, it's a uh, safe. Okay. I can't see because there's the breeze. Okay, there we go. I was about to say, what the fuck? There we go. Letter scrap. Am I even supposed to go anywhere else? That statue just kind of. A piece of my past. Stem must be creating this. I. That is exactly what I was speculating, my dude. Here we go. Question is, are there any more of these around here? believe so. That's it. Please don't let there be enemies. I just want to solve this puzzle. There we go. Those are... That is a pitchfork stabbing some kind of... Body. In oh. life, we constantly search for a place we feel safe, a home we can always come back to. We imagine that place in our minds and are drawn to it. You had a home, but now that place is here with us. Oh? There is a save room. Save slots. You know what? I'm probably just going to call the stream a little bit early today. A little tired. Got to get ready for work tomorrow. So thanks everyone for hanging out. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.